let's get started. Nineteen fifty six Tina Marie Soul, R and B singer. Rick James was her mentor. Named the Ivory Queen of Soul. Sang at Jerry Lewis's son's wedding at the age of 10. Known under the pseudonym Lady T, her hit, Lover Girl, reached number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1985. In 2009, she collaborated with Faith Evans on the single, Can't Last a Day. Born on March 5, 1956, Tina Marie emerged as a powerhouse in the realms of soul and R&B, earning the moniker, the Ivory Queen of Soul. Her indelible contributions to music, marked by a distinctive voice and genre-defying artistry, continued to resonate with audiences around the world. Tina Marie's musical journey was shaped by her early exposure to the arts. At the age of 10, she performed at the wedding of Jerry Lewis's son, an early indication of the prodigious talent that would define her career. Rick James, a prominent figure in funk and R&B, played a pivotal role in Tina Marie's career. Serving as her mentor, James recognized her exceptional vocal prowess and unique style. Their collaboration resulted in the creation of some of the most memorable and influential music of the era. Tina Marie's impact on the charts was evident with hits like Lover Girl, which soared to number four on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1985. Her ability to seamlessly blend soul, funk, and R&B set her apart, and her performances were characterized by a raw, emotive quality that resonated with listeners. Operating under the pseudonym Lady T, Tina Marie's artistry went beyond chart success. She became known for her authenticity and willingness to explore a diverse range of musical styles. Her albums, including Wild and Peaceful and Star Child, showcased her versatility and cemented her status as a trailblazer. In 2009, Tina Marie collaborated with Faith Evans on the single Can't Last a Day, demonstrating her enduring influence on contemporary artists and her commitment to evolving within the ever-changing landscape of music. Tina Marie's legacy is not only defined by her vocal prowess but also by her ability to break down genre barriers and create timeless, soulful music. As we celebrate her birth, we recognize the enduring impact of the Ivory Queen of Soul on the rich tapestry of musical history. In this series, we're paying homage to the musical legends who were born on this day. From rock and roll pioneers to jazz greats, we'll take a closer look at the lives, careers, and legacies of these talented artists. Whether you're a fan of their music or just curious to learn more, join us as we celebrate the birthdays of these iconic musicians. If you remember any of their hits or enjoy their music, let me know. Take a look at their music and let me know what you think. If you like my posts, please give them a like and subscribe. This was a program for Music and Life by Carlos M. Created by Rune KM Productions.